We've got DeMarvin Leal. If you have questions, we'll start with Sam Kahn right here in the in the front middle. And DeMarvin, Sam Kahn from the Athletic. They guys, they got those guys got 300 yards in the first half. Just what were they doing to have so much success early on? Um, I would say that um, executed the game plan a little bit better, you know, than expected, and you know they just came out fast. Questions? Let's go right here in front to Travis Brown. For the uh, Travis Brown with the Eagle. When when you have um, it, Isaiah was talking a lot about self-inflicted wounds and especially on the offensive side of the ball. But is it is it more frustrating? And how do you address it as a leader when it's actually some of the veteran guys and experienced guys who are making penalties and, and making some of the mistakes? Uh, I say that one way to correct it is just you know it goes back to practice. Got to correct it in practice, you know. Got to um, just got to put it in everybody's head, you know. Just constantly getting after everybody when something's going, when something's not going right during practice, and you know it just always starts in practice. So just correcting it there. Go to Justin Wooder from KAGS right here in the middle in the blue. Hey, Demarvin, Justin, KAGS and College Station. What do you make of all the missed tackles? Uh, got to work on it. Starts in practice, you know. And also the big plays, obviously Burks down the sideline, and then Green, I think Hansford basically almost looked like from us, pushed him forward, didn't even try to wrap up. You haven't given up big plays all year. Why today? Uh, I would just say, you know, it's just one of those days. You know, you always win, you lose. Just got to be able to fight through it and come back together. Let's go to Ryan from the bat and then Cedric. Hey, DeMarvin, Ryan Faulkner with the Battalion. For Arkansas to go from scoring 17 in the first half to just three in the second half, what did you guys do? To, what changes did you make to really make that happen? You know, just just came back in together, you know, recouped. We made a few adjustments throughout halftime and then came back out through a, for the second half. You got Cedric right here on your left. Cedric Golden, Austin, American Statesman. Uh, huge games coming up against Mississippi State and Alabama. Um, as a leader on this team, uh, what, what are the conversations going to be between you and your teammates, especially the younger ones who haven't been through this? Uh, that this, you know, the SEC is big boy ball. You know, you have to step up. It's the next man up every single day. And just installing everything we need to stall throughout practice and getting after it together. On your right side, you got Brent. Brent Swarneman, Houston Chronicle. What was the difference between Jefferson and Hornsby in terms of their quarterback play? I know Jefferson came back in later, but with Malik kind of holding it down in the meantime. Um, you know, those two guys are, you know, amazing QBs. And I'll just say that they had a good, like, speed, you know. As QBs, you don't really see that speed as much, you know. Um, so props to those guys for coming out and balling. Go to Travis right here in front. Yeah, Travis with the Eagle again. When, when Hornsby was in with that one drive there at the beginning of the fourth corner that ended in the field goal, when you did have a backup in there, is it a little extra frustrating that you weren't able to keep points off the board on, on that particular drive? You know, um, you can control what you can control. And so, you know, that just, just happened. It was one of those situations where it didn't work out in our favor. Let's go in the very back to TV Road to Daryl Bruffett. DeMarvin, can you talk about, I guess, just how important it is for you guys to come out and pick up a W next week at home just because of what happened today? Um, you know, it's very important. Just coming back as a whole and just getting after it is going to be something that we need to do. And, you know, it's going to be very important just for our confidence and those for those young guys to get back in there and, you know, build their confidence again. Stay in the, on TV road to Mike from KAGS. Hey, to Marvin. Mike Lucas with KAGS. Isaiah just told us this team has to grow up quickly. Can a game like this and, and a, a loss kind of be a wake-up call for you guys to pick things up? No question. You know, um, a lot of young guys on this team and a lot of young guys that are playing as well. So I definitely say this would be a wake-up call for those guys just to get after it and to come back with a different mentality next week. Let's go in the back to a black shirt guy. Uh, Jordan Epp with the battalion. Um, when the defense changed in the second half and you went from 17 points to zero up being allowed, was the change more mental or schematic? Wait, say that again? 
Um, with the defensive change in the second half, was it more of a mental thing or a schematic thing? I would say just more of a, I would say it's more of a mental thing, you know, like uh, for those first few drives, you know, they had to come back together. So during halftime, we just we talked to each other. We came back and just came out together and tried to get it done in the second half. And we'll wrap it up with Sam right here. Marvin, two things. With their offense, I know they like to do a lot of different things. They got, you know, wide splits from the receivers, like to do tempo, they have you know, quarterback run. What was the most challenging part for you guys of what they did offensively from a schematic standpoint? I would just say honestly that we had self-inflicted wounds and there was nothing that they did better. You know, it was just execution wise. You know, we have to get back to grabbing every little crumb throughout the game and just taking it like, you know, tackling all that stuff, just taking it a little bit more serious, a lot more serious, actually, and just getting after it next week. You're one of many veterans on this team that went through a little adversity early last season when you guys had a loss early in the year. How much can you learn from that experience and how much can that help you guys moving forward? A lot. Okay, that's all we got.